Charles, that's kind of test the round out there today. Yeah, it was good. Um, was kind of hoping for 18 holes of not much wind and all that, and it kind of picked up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, it was good. It was a little soft on the greens from the rain. Uh, you just know around here that you need to make birdies. And, uh, you know, so many risk-reward holes and opportunities that uh, it was good uh, It was good to get in under par. When people play golf course, that's, that's known for being especially tough for having a challenging setup. That, I would assume, makes you feel pressured to, to sort of play well there. When you come to a golf course like this where – it's par 70 on the car, but you know you need to do significantly yep. better than that. Is it a different kind of pressure? Do you feel like sometimes when you make a string of pars that you're yes. losing ground? Yes, 100%. And as I, you watch the leaderboard and you just see your name just like fall off a cliff, you know, with any type of mistake. So, yeah, for sure it does. And, uh, you know, with some reachable par fives, it puts pressure on the tee ball to get that away. Uh, you know, the 15 is another hole where... You know, it's a drivable par four, but there's quite a bit of trouble around it. Okay? So you get this disparity of, uh, of birdies and bogeys, which is great, right? Which is why players love it here. It's why they speak highly of it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great golf course of risk-reward. Some corner flags and just over some shelves where you can be aggressive. And, but a mistake is a, is a tough up and down. So uh, I think it's why you see scores on, on uh, both sides of it here. Can you talk about real quick about what makes you decide what club to hit on 15? You bring up being a drive par four. Yes. You can obviously get there. Yes. With the with the pin front, yes. pin back. Like what, what sort of is the thought process on when I'm going to be more um, aggressive, when I'm going to lay back? You know, for me personally, uh, the front pins, I've always, you know, wanted to miss short. Uh, the back, back flag's actually long isn't bad. So uh, it's also a bit of a function of the wind and how firm it gets in the front. You know, we've seen a lot of balls end up hitting short and just, you know, springboard right over the back. So yeah, a bit of firmness and whatnot, but uh, I've always thought that the back flag's long is okay and it's, it's not an issue. What's your favorite sort of drivable par four that we see week in and week out on the PGA Tour? Oh. Well, this one is, is right up there at the top. Um, I like 10 at Riviera maybe 15, 20 years ago before the green got so severe and crazy. Um, man. Yeah, I would say this one's got to be right up there. Uh, no question. As, yeah. as, as, you've gotten, as you've grown later in the year, how would you kind of characterize how your year's kind of gone or your season? Yeah, you know, it's... Um, it, you know, it's... That's our team. You're all yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> They're ours. That's Jay. <laughs> um, so, um, um, you know, the year's been fine, actually. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I haven't played as much the last couple of years as I used to. Uh, that's a function of being 43 years old and, and a family and kids and uh, a son I'm chasing around the golf course and caddying for and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy and content with it. You know, I. Uh, I looked the other day. This is my 600 and I think ninth golf tournament. Uh, oddly enough, I actually turned pro here at this tournament in 2000. So um, prior to that, they gave me a sponsor invite. So I played here when I was 17. Um, to think I played here when I was 17 and now 43. You know, it's uh, um, it goes fast. And uh, so yeah, you know, I'll I'll play. I'll continue to play a little bit less than I normally do, but. Uh, Hey, listen, this tour has been great to me, and I, I love it. And uh, But I, I do enjoy spending uh, some time with the kids and, uh, and my son helping him with his game. Has that kind of given you a different perspective, kind of helping your son with his game? I see him out here a little bit more now yeah. with you guys like during the summer. Well, it's actually it's actually given me a lot more incentive and a bit of a, a second wind, if you will, um, because we're playing and practicing all day, and uh, and I'm practicing when he's in school. When he gets out, we're back out at the golf course until dark and whatnot. And, uh, and I want them to see – you know, what I do and what I've, I've done, et cetera. And, uh, and, hey, listen, I mean, he's, he takes his game really seriously as well. So uh, it's, uh, it's given me a lot of incentive and uh, a lot of motivation. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Charles. Yeah, y'all have a good day.